What's up, Light Keepers? Today is July 16th of 2022, and we are having our Lighthouse Gathering event in Santa Monica. We do these every month where a bunch of Glovers just come and we just give light shows. You don't have to be a Glover to come. If you enjoy light shows and you just wanna watch, you're free to come out as well. I wanna give a huge shout out to You Got Moves for supplying me with gloves. They're giving away 18 pairs of whites for the first 18 people that show up. So if you're early, then you get rewarded. Before I head over, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe if you're not already. And if you wanna learn how to glove directly from me, go ahead and click that link in the description. I'm gonna head over right now. I'll see you guys in a bit. We've got this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like cool. Just parked right now, walking over to the spot. I don't know, it's looking kind of gloomy out right now. Hopefully it doesn't rain. It did rain the first time, but that was like in March. So, I mean, it's like, what, July right now? It better not rain, shoot. But yeah, hopefully people show up. I'm about to pull up right now. About a week before our first gathering in March 2022, I was pacing back and forth in my room, unsure if I wanted to do this event. I was really reluctant because I wasn't too keen on meeting random people in a park like this, and mostly I was scared of failure. The gloving scene was already on a decline the last couple years, and the pandemic was really that last nail in the coffin, which snuffed out an already dying ember. The passion just wasn't there anymore, and we all felt it. When I got here on that day, nobody was here. It was cold, windy, and there were dark clouds just looming up above. I figured I'd wait 30 minutes just in case somebody showed up. And if not, then I'd leave because at least I could say I gave it a shot. Finally, after about 15 excruciatingly long minutes, one guy showed up. We chatted a little bit, we traded shows, and then afterwards we just kind of sat around. And at that point, I was honestly ready to go home. Just as I began to mentally pack everything up, calculate how long things would take, Three more people showed up, and then another five, and then another 10. And by the end of the night, 40 people had shown up. One even drove down five hours from SF just to be at this meetup. Talking to all these different Glovers, I realized we all wanted the same thing. It's human interaction with each other. It's what we craved the past two years, but just weren't able to get because everything was locked down. And this meetup was the medium that brought us all together so we could satisfy that desire for connection. I learned that the scene wasn't dead at all. It wasn't a snuffed out flame. It was just a bunch of small ones that were separated from each other. And all we needed to do was to gather together to reignite each other. That first night ended early because those dark looming clouds actually ended up being rain clouds. But that rain could do nothing to the fire that was ignited in me. I'm super excited about the turnout today. Whether it's gonna be two people or even 200 people, I know I'm gonna be inspired either way. Yo, shout out Pro Lights and Keck for the batteries and whites. Come through, Lighthouse Gathering. Let's go. Let's go, Ella. Yo.
Wow, that was an awesome turnout. There was maybe like 20 or 25 people there, and I met a lot of new faces, people I had never seen before, a couple that I had met online, but it was just great seeing everyone and hanging out and trading shows. I had an amazing time, and I know a lot of other people did as well. I hope to see you guys at the next one. They're gonna be every month, so if you miss this one, you'll always have next month. Thank you so much for riding along, and go leave an impact on somebody's life. I'll see you next time.